Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech and I'm here with Ian. Hi Ian. Hi, I'm Ian. I, I'm currently working on tabsatas.com. So, um, Ian's here because he wanted to learn about Tasker and uh, I'm here to help him out and we're going to spend the first 10 minutes setting up Tasker and showing what is Tasker capable um, of doing. So, I'm going to show you what, what to do with it. Great stuff. So, Ian, open Tasker. We're going to uh, start with the Tasker and uh, uh, set up because there's a few things I have to obviously go through the disclaimer and a quick overview if you want to read it but we're going to go into pro mode because I'm here so go to preferences first and uh, into preferences disable beginners mode animation haptic feedback and tips as well because I'm here and that's not needed now that's brilliant and icon color from theme because it will mess up our uh, icons at the bottom if you want to have them colored then uncheck this now go to miscellaneous and uh, enable backup uh, and select the backup to one day. It's great and allow external access to allow Tasker to do even more things. Now before we even start, uh, when we exit the Tasker you'll see the few things has changed. We have a uh, few tabs in here and the tab at the bottom but we're going to talk about it in a second because before we go anywhere we have to go in the settings and enable Tasker settings, uh, additional settings. So we need notification settings so if we're going to go to special access, notification access, that's going to need to know what's going on in notification to respond to this. There you go for it. Uh, same for accessibility settings. Go and find accessibility settings. It's on the same screen, I think. I'll just type it in. And basically, Google changed stuff around. Accessibility settings are still um, available in Tasker, but that might change uh, with new workarounds. But for now, we need to enable it. Yeah. Excellent. And if you want to control the screen, etc., uh, you need to go and do the device manager. So, device, device admin apps. And device. Oh, battery. I forgot about battery optimization because otherwise, the system can put Tasker to sleep. <laughs> and that's never a good idea. Right. Way too many apps. Tasker, not optimize, don't optimize, great stuff. And device admin apps, and we want Tasker. If you ever want to uninstall Tasker, you need this unchecked. We're ready, open the Tasker and let's, uh, let's have a look around. So we, we in the Tasker, Tasker has a few things, profiles, tasks, scenes, and variables. Those are here. For now you don't see anything and we start with creating a new profile. So profiles split into two things. One is an event, event is when something happens, and one is a, a state. State means like when something persists for a specific amount of time. So event is like if you get a text message, that's an event. Oh, I just got a text message. Great. If you have unread the text message, that's a state, and that state will persist until you, you know, read the text message and the notification disappears. So what okay. do you want to do with Tasker? Um, so I quite often that often have all the volume turned down, so when a call comes in, it'd be great if we could turn the volume up. All right. so when someone's calling you, that's an event, because it's instantaneous, someone just, you know, oh, someone's ringing, so that's event, so let's in, look in the events, um, phone, because that's a phone action, and uh, phone ringing, excellent. So we want that for everyone, so you can just exit it now, now. And we need to create a task. Task is like a list of all items that you want Tasker to do. Okay. So create one. Yeah, and add an action. Action is a specific thing that uh, it's going to be doing. So we're looking for audio and we're looking for a ringer uh, volume. Yeah, and then exit. And exit the task. And now you can see it's assigned. Now, but what's going to happen? It's going to do that at night as well, because it will constantly do this. Okay, so can we limit it to maybe after half eight in the morning? All right. Uh, profiles allow you to set several contexts. You can do four contexts, one event together. So if you long press on the uh, existing context, you can add another one. And uh, this time we want to limit it to a specific time. So go to the time and set the times you want. So this means that if there is a time which is adequate, 
and there is a phone ringing, Tasked will change the volume. Yeah, great, just exit out. Now, what happened when the call is no longer in place? You see the arrows here. Okay. This means that your setting will return to previous value. So if you have it muted, it's going to go automatically to mute after the call's ended. If you have it at 5, it will go automatically at 5. So that's an event. But let's do the state now. And state, for example, it's uh, the most popular one is connected to Wi-Fi. So I'm sure we have a Wi-Fi around. So go and look for it. And we're going to do the variable thing. So uh, we're looking for a state variable. This is state, uh, sorry, uh, um, context. Did not say that. that was my bad. Ah, I messed up. <laughs> uh, go to internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Wi-Fi connected. So look for the Wi-Fi around here. Uh, the the other one there, this one. Mm. This one okay. Yeah. So if we are connected at home, we can set a variable. You know what a variable is, because Ian is a programmer. Explain to people what a variable uh, is. So it just allows you to set a value, and uh, you, then you can look at that value later on. Okay. Compare it with other. So other we're going to create a variable in a tasker, which we're going to use later on for the third profile. So go back and create a new task. Okay. New task. And we're going to set a variable when you're home. Yeah. Look for the variables. That font. Variable set. So do we do it lowercase or is there a uh, if local you, if you global? if you have a lowercase, they are local and they will disappear very quickly uh, after the task's done. If you do a single uppercase, you have a global one and this is what is being shared with uh, across the tasker. All uppercases ones that are system variables, they're accessible from Tasker, but you cannot change the value of them because they are being assigned by Tasker itself. So you have a variable that's called at home, and if we home, this variable has value true. So let's exit it out. Obviously, we are not, uh, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi in here right yet, but in the variables, you can see that variables already has been instantiated. Instantiated? Oh, can you? Instantiated? Instantiated. <laughs> and we can assign the value uh, manually by pressing it on a play button here. Mm -hmm. So it will simulate that the task is running. And as you can see, if we were connected to Wi-Fi, our home location would be true. Now, what happened when we leave home? Nothing will happen because we didn't assign the exit task. And this is something very specific to state variables only. So when you press on uh, the tasks existing, you can add the exit task and uh, create a new task. So when we are going to leave the home, you can actually set the variable to, uh, you know, to exit uh, to a different value. So look for variables again, variable set, and you can pick the variable here from here and assign new value. So in this case, that's going to be false. So go back now to save it. And yeah, again, and press uh, OK to save it. Now, when this is useful, this is useful, for example, when you want to have a different profile linked to something you created previously. So we know that when you're not home, you have a for that var var uh, variable is false. So let's create a very crude notification app. Uh, that will tell you to buy something. So uh, go to create new profile. Okay. Um, state, yeah, variable, variable value, pick the va uh, variable you've created before, and false for when we're outside. Excellent, exit. Create a new task, and let's call it shopping list or whatever. Let's okay. make a cr crude shopping list, yeah. Yeah, and then create a notification. So that's alert, notification, notify, and put some notification title. And start to buy. Yeah, beer, because <laughs> beer is important. And fruit because you want to stay <laughs> healthy. So five five beers a day, five fruits a day, five fruits a day, one beer a day. Uh, so, what's going to happen now? Let's take a look at our variables. The variable is true, so I'm going to simulate this by going to the living home, 
and pretend we're leaving home, the variable is going to be false. And the moment we're going to uh, leave the task and save the settings, it'll detect that the new variable has been assigned. I probably have to toggle the um, toggle the profile first, just to enable it, because we never run the original profile, so we need to pretend that uh, we did that in the past. And the task will check which variables have what uh, values. And in a second, you should display the notification. Right, Tasker? Yeah, so it's active. So revive it. It's all active. And let's snow it up again. I'll probably just save it. I need to wait for this to be deactivated to, uh, in order to, to work. Come on. Be a good Tasker. OK, that's done. That, that did the trick. So you can see the moment I did it, it detected the value and it shows you a notification. So when you're outside, uh, you get uh, to notify it. And that way, you don't have to link multiple Wi Fi. Great. The, the last thing I want to show you, because obviously I won't be here forever and uh, <laughs> I will be here only for a few hours, how to import stuff from my website or any website or any profiles you want. Now, we have profiles, we have tasks, we have scenes and variables. Now, each of them contains a secret menu. When you press on it, you can import certain files. Now, profile files, task files, and project files aren't the same. So you need to know what you're downloading. When you're downloading a task file, it has XML extension. And if it's a profile file, it will say your task's name or whatever, prf.xml. For the task itself, it's going to be tsk.xml. And for project itself, it's a PR, uh, prj. Dot XML. Now, projects, just think about, you know what, what the profiles are now and tasks. Oh, projects okay. are like folders, so you can add your own project and then, you, I don't know, home. So, so everything that uh, you want to happen at home, uh, you could put into that folder. You can see none of your profile tasks or variables are visible in this folder, so it's a different folder. So when you're importing profile, you have your profile and you have your task. When you're importing tasks only, you only have tasks. You don't get a profile or any information. And when you're importing a project, you get everything that is contained within that folder. So when you're importing this, you would get all of that stuff currently available in profiles and tasks and scenes and variables. So that's pretty much uh, how you should start your first 10 minutes with Tasker. Brilliant. Yeah, that's a great introduction. Now again, thank you so much for helping me out demonstrating it, and I uh, hope you're going to enjoy the task. Cheers, mate. If you want to learn more about uh, tabs2tasks.com <laughs> and Ian's project, uh, visit his website, which is tabs2tasks.com. You need to come up with a more <laughs> easier name to pronounce. Or follow him on Twitter, which is uh, Alterus Ian. So I'll link that in the description. Obviously, if you're interested in more task care content, so you know where to find me and where to find my website and all tasks uh, to download and tutorials to follow. So uh, I guess thank you for watching, guys, and uh, we're going to see you in the next video. So take care. Bye. Cheers. Okay. Right hair's fine. Give a makeup pin. Uh, and makeup. <laughs> all good. Tabs for ta tasks. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Tabs to Tabs. tasks. Com. But if you want to find out about tabs for tasks, tabs to tabs, tabs to tasks. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, right? Yeah. Tabs to tasks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay.